I mean, you've grown up around this program mm -hmm. a lot longer than most. I mean, to, to get this monkey off the back of the program, what, what does this mean tonight? Um, it's everything. Uh, yeah, we got one more one more game, but man, I'm gonna really enjoy t tonight. Um, it, it it really isn't for me and. It is for all of us seniors and all that, but it's it's really for those guys that came before us and stuck through it all. Um, I think about all the guys last year, <laughs> Taggy, Luke Reimer, you know, and then the guys that stuck here, Jamari, Javen Wright, who's played through injury, and Marquise Buford, who had knee surgery <laughs> two years in a row, you know, and it's it's the guys that stuck here and went through hell, and uh, we finally got that monkey off the back. <clears throat> with you to it yeah yeah you know I mean it, it's big for the state um, it, it, it felt good to get the win for us and them um, I know this state's been through a lot you know with us they, they go through it with us um, and they've stuck by us this whole time um, and they haven't given up on us so it was it was awesome to see <clears throat> how big can this be I know you got a game yeah today. Uh, just the extra practices for the young guys right. what you wanted to do to give them. Right. No, we, we haven't had those four weeks of development for in a long time. Uh, so that's it's going to be big for uh, the young guys to get in and start getting reps and getting ready for the next year, you know, and then also playing in that bowl game. So uh, it'll it'll be good for us. <clears throat> Leading that 10 at halftime, what was mm -hmm. kind of the mindset of the team in the locker room? Yeah, no, it was good. You know, getting that turnover and into a field goal right before half, that was, that was a big momentum shift. Um, and then to be able to come out and get a stop, that, that was big for us. Winning the middle eight has always been a highlight on our um, keys to winning, um, and I, we got that done. Besides going to a huddle, was Wisconsin much different than what they had been showing on offense? Um, you know, they, not really. We knew they were going to run the ball, obviously, and then uh, throw the RPO at us. Um, and they started throwing the RPO a lot more than we thought. And uh, they had a good game plan, and they came out, and uh, – they executed. <clears throat> Looked like for a second in the first half, you took a hard hit when they were driving. Looked like they were trying to sub you out. You waved them off. Yeah. <laughs> what made you want to stay in there? Oh, it, was, it was nothing. I just, my arm went dead for a second, but that, that happens quite often. So it, I just had to get it moving, and that was fine. Does it make it any extra special doing it, getting bowl eligibility, beating Wisconsin, and kind of like slaying two dragons at once? Yeah, no doubt. You know, we were in the same situation last year, so felt felt good to get back at them. You guys have to coach up Bly Hill a little bit. Basically, the first time he's played. Oh, man, I'll, I'll I'll ride with Bly Hill any day. You know, uh, that's that's my guy. You know, everybody makes mistakes. I've I made plenty today. Um, so we'll just watch it, fix it, move on. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Did you see any kind of a difference in the mindset of the team on that drive after Isaiah's touchdown was overturned and how you guys didn't get down about that and came right back and got in the end zone? Yeah, for sure. It was a, it was a choice to let's go, you know, let's go score. Let's go win. Like, the whole week, I mean, throughout this year, the process has been, you know what I'm saying, to do what we need to do to win. And so... Uh, that's what it was. Let's go score. Was there any kind of a message behind the scenes that helped push you along there? Nah, it's just it was just us. That's it. Just us. Um, everything we've been through, everything we sacrificed, and for the love of the game. After they got it to 37-25, you guys didn't just try to run the ball. You, you stuck with your offense. And, yeah. And Dana kept throwing around. Did you like that attacking mindset you guys kept to the end there? Yeah, I did. It was balanced. Uh, it was. They were just. You know, normal plays down the distance didn't matter. Uh, but we just, you know, the game plan was a game plan, and that's what we did. Hey, you've been with Like, so this mm -hmm. isn't new for you, but it is new for these guys. Yeah. Did you sense after the game the amount of excitement and relief that they had for what they accomplished? Yeah, it was it's incredible. Like, I mean, I'm ecstatic. Like, everybody who, who loved Nebraska won today, you know. And so um, moments like that. You know, come once in a lifetime. So I definitely cherished it. Uh, definitely am grateful to be a part of that. What and, about the, the fan reaction at the end of the game? I, you probably couldn't have anticipated that. What, what did you think of the way the fans reacted? Oh, I, was, I, I kind of expected it. Like, you know, they're going to go crazy. You know, we have them 14 years, or I don't know, 11 years. So, um, and especially how passionate the fan base is. Like, I know it means a lot. So, 
what is the, the biggest adjustment you think Coach Holberson has done just to, to, to get things on rhythm? Because we haven't seen a rhythm like this really probably since early in the season for your offense. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Coach, Coach Dana has done a great job of uh, being, you know, of course, transparent and, uh, and kind of guiding us and, you know, laying out a, a blueprint. But, you know, for the most part, I think it's, it's just been a choice by the guys. As you know, they said, it's, it's us who got to make the, the choice to go win. And so I think it just clicked. You know, you, you put in all the work. You know, like, like I said, the process is the same. And you put in a lot of work and you feel like you had nothing to show for. Well, you know, today we did. And it's going to, uh, you know, just keep happening. So it, it looks like the offense, you know, Dylan's been able to get the ball out pretty quickly to you guys. Just what do you think of the rhythm you developed on some of those quick passes? Yeah, it was just like practice, you know, just another Tuesday practice, another Wednesday practice. Uh, and, you know, today was Saturday. Jamal, you probably learned a lot about yourself during your four years at Wake Forest. What would you say is the biggest thing you've learned about yourself this season? Uh, this season with Nebraska, let me think for a second. Uh, I just, you know, I, I, I guess I could say I learned uh, yeah, I just I, I learned uh, I learned to love myself for so you know yeah I'm gonna do that love football off the field uh, my role everything learn to love myself Awesome. Now you're one of the guys that got brought in to kind of turn this program around. You got, you did it. You got this team to a bowl win. How does that mm -hmm. kind of make you feel to be one of the leaders to do that? Yeah, I'm ecstatic. Like, I mean, how would you feel? <laughs> like, I, it, if it's great, it's, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's anything somebody could dream for. Um, but yeah, the job's not finished, and so we're gonna keep stacking. Anything else for Jamal? All right, Jamal. Makes your feel a lot better knowing. You're going to keep playing for another month. Yeah, knowing that, uh, you know, what it took to get to this point, uh, it, not even the last, you know, two years with Coach Rule and his staff, but the last six, uh, you know, trying to reach this point and to being able to actually achieve it is, I mean, it's a surreal moment today. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, I'm super proud of our guys going out there and competing for all 60 minutes to get this win today. How much sweeter is it that it came against Wisconsin? Yeah, I mean, you know, unfortunately for them, they had to play us, right? Uh, as they made comments earlier in the week. Um, but, you know, we stood on it, and they came into our home, and, you know, we showed them what, what we're about here, and I think what we're starting here at this program now, and to start the foundation and build it again and, and be great in the next years to come. What did post-game mean to you, celebrating with Nash and Gibb and some of your old teammates that came up in the Washington Post? Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, especially like those guys that aren't here anymore to come out and support, knowing, you know, all the, like I said, all the things we went through to finally be able to show everyone that, yes, you know, we are capable of doing this. Uh, it's always been there. And once, you know, we all put it together, you know, this is a great team and a great program. And we can do great things and go on and, you know, win a lot more games. Did it feel like relief or what was the prevailing joy i mean just to finally attain one of the goals we had for our season uh and you know prevail and you know through all the adversity that's been thrown at us and and to be able to go out and do it i mean it's 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 awesome just the second time nebraska's beaten wisconsin since they joined the big 10 were, were the players aware of, of the win streak and, and just to kind of in that i mean it's 2012 was the last time nebraska yeah no I've, we've been aware uh you know i've been us older guys have made it aware to the young guys, and Coach Rule's done a great job at explaining the history and, you know, to finally get that win at home. I think it just kind of, you know, puts that staple, uh, that last, like, foundational piece that we needed to go on and finish out the season the way we want. I like guys have reasons why they exchange schools and stuff, but you stuck at one school. What's that mean to you to do it that way? 
man, I got loyal to this place. Uh, they took me in, uh, you know, 2019, and they took a chance on me. So there was, there was no way I was going to just leave it just because it got bad. Uh, that's another type of person I am. And I know that's a lot of how the older guys feel as well. And, you know, knowing the history and knowing what this place is supposed to be and could be, and, you know, hopefully trying to, you know, make that history better. I mean, just knowing that I get to be a part of that is, is you know, very personal and very prideful for me. Ty, is this the best senior day you could have pictured? Yeah, I mean, it's just, I think it's kind of like a, you know, the Cinderella ending, you know, at, to my career here at, at Memorial. Uh, I'm definitely going to miss it. You know, I definitely was, you know, taking it in. Uh, a lot more than I usually did. Um, the surrounding, the fans, the, the the plays, you know, being out there with my brothers uh, and just competing with them and, you know, watching us go and ball. How can a feeling like this help you guys next Friday against Iowa? Yeah, man, I mean, you know, celebrate for the next 24 hours, but we still got work to do. The season's not over with. Get right back to it tomorrow uh, with our recovery and our, uh, you know, extra film that we watch for Iowa. And, you know, we're going to prepare the same way uh, and go 1-0 and next week. You got pretty excited to go back, go in there on offense toward the end of the game. What was that like for you guys? To yeah, I kept I kept telling him to call Apollo. We were right there the whole whole game waiting for him to call it. Uh, you know, and I saw Judy kick out his dude, and there ended up being two other dudes hitting that hole. And you know, I I hit one dude, and I tried to shoulder check the other one, and to see to see Dante flying over my shoulder uh, on my inside and. Seeing him go in there, it was, I mean, it's its so awesome. And, you know, I went up to Coach Hogerson after I said, all right, I showed you I can block, now give me, give me the ball next week so we can go. And, you know, I've always wanted to score a touchdown, and hopefully that can come true. What's the play call? Apollo. Questions? Um, how, how special was it in the locker room? I, I know guys were trying to get this ball, so he's had to call Man, it felt great. It felt amazing. You know, it's been a while since we've you know gone to a bowl game. So I'm really happy for the seniors and the guys who have been here for you know a long time through the ups and downs. It was exciting in the locker room, man. I, that was a great feeling. And it, uh, Coach Holgerson just a few days ago stood here and talked about running backs getting in the holes, running backs making people miss at the next level. What, why do you think, I mean, was there something about his message that resonated with you guys? What was different today about you and Dante being able to I, mean, I love that he, you know, said that. I kind of take it as just a challenge. You know, I've been making people miss my whole life. So just going out there and trusting my training and most importantly, you know, just trying to help this team win football games and, you know, keep progressing. But what does it mean just to, to get over this hurdle to, to get the full eligibility after what, what, what has been kind of a wait the last several years? Man, it's special. You know, this is my third year here and, you know, there's guys that have been here for longer than me. And so it was just special to get over that. You know, we're changing Nebraska football, and uh, this is something that, you know, for the years to come, we can look back and say that we learned and grow from our mistakes and just keep going. We got one more next week. We got to go, you know, finish and win that one as well. You had 202 all purpose yards today. I'm going to guess you like Dana Holgerson as your offensive coordinator. Yeah, he's a great guy. You know, he uh, keeps the game simple and just allows me to do me and be, be in space. And most importantly, he. You know, he keeps the, everything simple for the whole uh, offense, not just me. You know, up front, everybody knew what they had to do, and we just went out there and executed. So credit to my own line as well. They don't get the credit, but those boys helped me a lot. I mean, did he give you a sense, even when he got here, because you've gotten a lot more touches since he's arrived, that he was going to give you an opportunity to do some things that maybe you haven't done earlier this season? Yeah, and it, it felt great. And I can only thank God and thank him, uh, thank everybody else. But, you know, this is special, man. I. You know, I'm at a loss for words really right now. I'm just happy that we got the win. That was the most important to me. And, you know, God allowed me to, you know, do me today. So I'm just, I'm proud and I'm glad. You've always had confidence in yourself, but to put a game or 200 yards together, what, what can that do for you going forward? Yeah, you know, I was reading the Bible earlier, and I just always go by Philippians 4, verse 13. You know, I can do all things through Christ, and who strengthens me, and that's what happened tonight. You know, going out there and playing free, uh, pay, playing f fearless, because, you know, the Lord is the only God that I fear. So just going out there and just being myself uh, helped me uh, to that performance and my own line. You've been here long enough to 
have some kind of an understanding of what was this Wisconsin series has meant for Nebraska and what it symbolized over the last 10 or 11 years? Does it mean, I know you wanted to get to six wins before tonight, but to, to do it against Wisconsin and hold up that trophy at the same time, what did that mean? And it meant a lot because we were in the same position here last year, uh, and it was at Wisconsin. And I remember that feeling after going up 14-0 uh, and not finishing that game well. A finish has been an emphasis in the offseason, and that's what we did tonight uh, is finish this ball game. And moving forward, that's what we're going to continue to do is finish, finish football games. <laughs> the whole bound is obviously amazing, but getting those extra practices, especially for, for the young guys, how much is that just going to help your program as a whole? Yeah, that's huge for you know development. Uh, the younger guys, there's been a, there's a lot of great talent on this football team that you guys don't see you know out on Saturdays. So just getting them an extra opportunity to show what they can do is huge uh, moving forward for this program. And we're just going to learn. We're going to grow. You know, keep recovering and just learning as much as we can. And we should you know win this next football game. They missed the ten points you guys scored in the final couple minutes of the first half. How important were those two moments for the offense? Extremely important. You know, Coach Dana emphasized finishing in the red zone. We've gotten down there a lot of times this year, and so finishing was extremely important. And we made that an emphasis today, and that's what we did. It's just trusting ourselves and finishing because we know we can do it. You know, we're all confident. We know we can go down there and win football games. So, else was this the most complete game the offense played, um, considering the opponent the defense? Yeah, I think so. I think from the start, um, Jacory with the kickoff return, and then kind of from there. We were rolling, and, and when they stopped us, uh, we just knew it was our fault. Um, you know, snap infraction here, uh, false start to get us off of, you know, our, our plan. So it was, it was exciting. Um, it felt good to finally put it all together. Um, but, you know, it kind of kind of starts now to get ready for, for next Friday. What did, uh, what did you think of the way that Emmett and Ja'Cory uh, played out there today? It seemed like every time the ball was in their hands, they did something special. Yeah, those guys have been special all year. Um, you know, it's just my job to get them the ball in space. And, like, you know, you saw it. Ja'Cory. Ja'Cory gets the ball in space. He's dangerous. Emmett does. I mean, all our guys are. They all have different skill sets that they're good at. Um, so uh, it's just trusting them, trusting the system, and, and, and getting the ball in playmakers' hands. What are your emotions towards the seniors who get to play a postseason game now? Uh, I honestly have no words. Um, you know, told them in the locker room that, that this win was for them, and it really was. Um, we couldn't. We couldn't, we wouldn't be here without them. You know, they went through the ups, the downs, and the highs, the lows, and, you know, to kind of break through for them, um, it, it was special. Dylan, Coach said this is the last time that they'll be celebrating six wins around here. What, what, is, what, what do those words leave you thinking? Uh, playoffs next year. I mean, as simple as that, yeah. Dylan, when they cut it to 37-25, yeah, just ran your offense like you've been doing it. Did you like that? It felt like you, you didn't go into a show mm -hmm. or anything at all. No, I, I loved it. Um, I actually went over to Coach Rule and asked him what we were, what we kind of wanted to play. Um, if we were gonna, you know, kind of just play our offense and and uh, or go for a minute. And um, I'm glad we did. Um, we we played really loose, played really free tonight, and uh, our guys, our O line, did a tremendous job keeping the pocket clean. And it was fun, it was a fun night. You seem confident after the USC game. You said you'd win this game. Mm -hmm. What made you see that this could be a really good week for the offense? Yeah, uh, I'm a big vibes person. And uh, when I came back in the locker room, even though we lost, uh, I just got the vibe like, yeah, we're about to take off. Um, and I say that humbly. You know, we got, we got another another game here and then, and then the bowl game. So uh, we got to keep growing, keep improving, and, and I think we will. As a freshman on this team, how have you seen you and Ja'Cory? throughout the season? Um, I said we just followed the lead of the leaders, or the seniors, sorry. Uh, I mean, we, you know, like I said earlier, we wouldn't be here without them. They, you know, all spring, all summer, and fall camp, they, they just showed us the ropes, and we kind of just followed. And um, to be where we're at now, um, you know, it's, it's exciting, you know, for this program and for this state. When you run it that way, how much has that changed the way the secondaries have to defend the pass and, and respect the run? Yeah, we, we kind of go from one dimensional to we can do whatever. Um, so it was good. We got we got rolling. Um, Emmett made some guys miss. O line was moving people off the line of scrimmage, and and um, yeah, you know it was a it was a well well put together effort from from everybody and, and the coaching staff and the players. What's that What's that rhythm feel like when you, when you when you catch it? You start moving downhill offensively like you did 
maybe late second quarter all the way through parts of the third, parts of the second half, most of the second half? Yeah, uh, honestly, it's it's fun. Um, you kind of can just call whatever on the sheet, close your eyes and call whatever, and and we have to just execute it. Um, it's kind of been our thing all year, and and we're a play here, play there, away from you know what we did tonight. So I think those little plays that we missed in the in the past, we made those plays tonight, and um, you know you see the results different. So we're in what we're in sixth grade, the last time the Huskers made a bowl. Yeah. I, I know how much this means to your family. Mm -hmm. You know your decision to come here. You know just what does it mean to accomplish that goal for this program with with all that in mind? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of you know, like I saw my mom, she started crying and I was, you know, just, just wanted to give her a big hug. I didn't really know why she was crying. I was like, you know, just come here, mom, give you a hug. But, um, yeah, it's special for our family, uh, for this program. Um, you know, this, this program has been so much, means so much to our, to our family. So, uh, to kind of pull through, break through, whatever you want to call it, um, it, you know, it meant a lot for, for us and in, in this program. Comfortability with Dana Holgerson following last week's game to this week. Yeah, um, kind of just got on the same page. Um, you know, I, you know, he he made he made things simple and um, kind of went out there and uh, just trusted our execution. And um, yeah, he he gets in a groove and he gets going. So um, we feed off that energy and and we keep going. So um, you know, we're blessed to have him on our staff.